everybody, what's up? Uh, this week and next week in two parts, uh, I'd like to split this up and talk about a little bit of infra art. And uh, uh, what I want to talk about actually has to do with the definition of music. And um, let me explain what I mean. So uh, last couple of weeks I've been, um, you know, sometimes I get on a kick where I really want to listen to stuff. And uh, usually if I'm listening to things... Um, you know, often I'm trying to branch out and check out new things uh, or pick up on stuff I haven't listened to in a while. And uh, sometimes, uh, you know, I'm looking for just kind of ideas and inspiration and something fresh. And I'll listen to some things that are a little bit out there. Um, and uh, sometimes I listen to some stuff that's really out there. Um, now, in my own work, I've, I've done some stuff that's a little bit out there. Uh, you know, I've done a couple of crazy projects, uh, you know, now and again, and some, some things in uh, different genres. Um, so, you know, as I'm kind of going through this material and I'm thinking about, you know, ideas of my own for stuff I, I want to do in the future, um, you know, some of the stuff I, I'm going to put out there may not be sort of the pop rock folk kind of mainstream stuff that... Uh, that a lot of what North's material was, um, some of it may kind of branch out. And uh, some of it may border on the definition of what people consider music or not music. So uh, I kind of thought it'd be interesting to talk a little bit about that. So um, what I want to do this week is I want to throw some examples at you of, uh, of some material that, um, that I've uh, listened to in the past and uh, and found over the years and um, <clears throat> and some of it uh, m much more recently that uh, that may fall in or out of your definition of of what music is and uh, I'd actually like to hear from people uh, on these examples and I, I'd love to see comments and stuff about whether or not you feel these things uh, are music and then next week uh, I'm going to kind of share some of my thoughts and definitions of music that I've, that I've been given over the years and, and also ideas about that that I've, I've developed over the years uh, about what the real definition of music is. But before I get into that, I want to get feedback from people on, on some of these examples and ideas. So, so the, for the first question I want to raise is, how do you define music? You know, that would be a great comment. If you want to leave me a comment, you could leave it. Uh, on, on any, you know, on the YouTube channel, you can leave it on Facebook, you can leave it on the Patreon, however you're watching the video. And uh, I'd love to hear from you on that. If you could define what music is, what does it have to have in order to be music? Um, so now to throw some examples at you and give you some food for thought, uh, I'm going to start with uh, this one, a track off this record. Uh, Chick Corea is a well-known uh, jazz pianist uh, for many, many years, um, really brilliant, uh, and has, has touched a lot of different genres in jazz. I mean, you know, solo piano stuff, um, acoustic jazz ensembles, fully electric jazz ensembles, all kinds of stuff, some of it very uh, accessible, some of it much more avant-garde. So um, I'm going to uh, hit you with a sample of a track off this uh, record. This is volume one of his Piano Improvisations. It was uh, cut in 1970. And uh, the, uh, the sample I'm going to play you is um, from one of the pieces on this record that I think is pretty clearly music by uh, most people's definition, but maybe some of you might disagree. So uh, give this a listen and tell me what you think. Okay, so that was example number one. 
uh, Chick Corea, Piano Improvisations, Volume 1 from 1970. Uh, obviously, the, the recording has some very familiar things. It's clearly a piano he's playing, um, but maybe it lacks some of the things that people want to hear in music. Uh, it doesn't have uh, really an established rhythm or patterns, right? So music or not music? Curious to, uh, to see what you think on that. So now the second example I'm going to hit you with is um, I'm going to push the envelope a little bit more. I'm going to, I'm going to take you a little bit further out there. And um, this is from a record uh, that was made in 2001 uh, by three jazz artists, Sten Sandell, Fred Lonberg holm and Michael Zerang. Uh, and this is an album called Disappeared. Uh, it has nine tracks on it. Uh, they're, they're simply titled Disappeared Day 1 through Disappeared Day 9. Um, so there's, there's not really any uh, uh, thematic suggestions from the titles of the pieces. Um, and I'm going to hit you with a little sample of this. Uh, these artists are, uh, one of them is a pianist, one of them is a cellist, and one of them is a percussionist. Um, but they play their instruments not only in their normal form, but they also play them in uh, what people call a prepared form, meaning that they take the instrument and they modify it in some way uh, to make some of the sounds. And this, this record is definitely much more an exploration of sounds and uh, I'm very curious to see if um, if you feel this is music or not. I'd be curious to uh, to get people's opinions on this one. So check out this track from Disappeared. <laughs> Example number two from Sandel, Lundberg, Holm, and Zerang's Disappeared. Music or not music? What do you think? Um, okay, for now, example number three, I'm going to take you even further out there. Um, the track uh, I'm going to take a sample from is from a project called Zero Info. Um, and uh, it's, it's on Bandcamp. I have it online. I don't have an actual physical recording of it. Um, and I'm going to put links to, to, uh, to, to a couple of these samples down below so that you can kind of find out more if you'd like to. Um, zero Info is an interesting project because by definition, uh, it offers zero info. Uh, there's a tag uh, on it that uh, indicates that uh, it may be based out of Birmingham, England. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, there's very little about it. Uh, the, the, the pieces all just have punctuation uh, as their titles. There's no information about authors, instruments, methods. Uh, it is purely just sound that is put out there for people to check out. So I'm going to play you a sample from, uh, from a track uh, from that site. Uh, one of my favorites of the Zero Info uh, collection that's on there on the Bandcamp site. Um, and uh, I'm very curious to know if you... Uh, if you think this is music or not. So uh, check out this last example number three.
Okay, so example number three there uh, from Zero Info. Music or not music? So I'd love to see uh, comments on all these samples. I'd love to see your ideas, your thoughts. How do you define music? What do you think makes something music or not music? Um, and uh, what I'd like to do is take a look at those and then next week um, respond to some of those and, uh, and also share my own thoughts uh, from uh, different ideas I've, I've heard over the years about what makes something music or not music. And uh, that'll be part two of the, this video. So see you then and uh, thanks for watching.